morning everyone it is monday the 27th of may as you saw i just got up and made a cup of tea and had a good chat with my mum because i didn't get a chance to chat with her over the weekend so i leave for perth on thursday which is super exciting but that means that i have a lot to do before i go so just currently trying out this new foundation from mecca max it's called the selfie skin two-in-one foundation concealer this is what i would class as like a high medium coverage foundation i cannot build it up with enough coverage to actually conceal blemishes. I cannot see how it is a foundation and a concealer in one. Now the color of this, this is actually an LC2 buff. So this is a little bit more of a sort of neutral, slightly, slightly cool toned shade. And I was worried it was going to be too dark because when you pump it out, it actually looks kind of dark. But when it's blended in, it's actually not too bad. The finish on it is beautiful though. It's got a really nice sort of satiny finish. I have to use a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape too give myself enough coverage for these breakouts which are just awful so i actually think i might do my editing first because oh it's nice and sunny i was actually feeling kind of warm in here because the sun was coming in this morning but now that the sun is directly above us and not really shining much through the windows you can definitely feel that cold air coming in and i don't know if you can hear but there's like whistling wind outside like it's howling i'm gonna heat up my wheat bag so this is a lot of you are asking what this thing is it's literally a bag of wheat and you put it in the microwave for a few minutes and it heats up and then it keeps you warm i use it at nights because i do not have a husband next to me at the moment to keep me warm cannot wait to spoon again but i also use it for sore muscles if i have a sore neck or back or something the wind is so loud and if it's really cold i will put it on just to simply stay warm because sometimes my heating likes to just switch off i'm not sure why it just doesn't always stay on really really hot which is very frustrating And also made myself a little mid-morning snack. This is some leftover cheese and crackers from last night's dinner. I like completely lucked out because I've got all this leftover cheese, crackers, there's some dips. I also have two slices of that amazing chicken pie. And I still have some leftover soup and garlic bread and stuff. So I'm pretty much set for meals for the next few days, which is very exciting. Which is also good because I can save money by not eating out. And that way when we go to Perth, we can just indulge because we've got some really nice restaurants that we want to go to. So I just put it on my lap while I'm editing because I find sitting stationary for so long, like a couple of, probably take me a couple of hours to get this done. I get really cold. <laughs> so I'm often making hot cups of tea and things and if I can, oh hello. If I am eating as well, it's good because it obviously keeps my metabolism firing. Very bad habit to skip meals while I'm being busy, but I am trying very hard to eat up all the food in my fridge to avoid waste and to keep myself motivated, nourished, all that good stuff. Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday the 28th of May. Just made myself a smoothie. It's actually not really the morning, it's like midday. I just took ages to make breakfast. I did my very first Instagram swipe up because I just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Everyone knows that Instagram's a bit hard to grow on these days. Like it's, um, it's an interesting platform, but I've actually been growing very steadily for a very long time. It's just, it's like the tortoise and the hare, a bit like my YouTube channel. It's slow and steady, wins the race is what I think. And it's been a journey, but I made it and I'm really stoked because when you hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, you get access to the swipe up link, which is just going to make it so much easier for me to be able to link my videos for you guys over there, especially since sometimes like notifications and stuff can be a bit weird on YouTube. It's just really handy being able to like cross pollinate. <laughs> if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go check it out. I'd love to interact with you guys over there. It's quite hard to have back and forth conversation on YouTube because when you post a comment, it comes up chronologically in my YouTube app and then I reply but when you guys reply to that I don't get a notification or anything and it doesn't pop up to the top so I often miss your replies to my replies so if you want to have like a bit of a back and forth conversation best thing is to go to Instagram DMs I just finished my two declutters that I needed to film eye products and lips eye products I would say I got rid of about probably between 50 to 60 percent some bulky products that i kept and some really small products that i got rid of so it visually looks different but i got rid of a lot but then lip products i got rid of 75 percent of my lip products i was very ruthless and i know that some of you will probably like cry watching it but honestly guys like you see me in my vlogs i wear lip gloss and lip balm on a daily basis and only reach for my brighter colors if i've got a gig maybe if i feel like wearing red 
or a brighter color, but it's not as often as I used to. I've kept 30 lip products, which is still a lot. Like I had 115 to begin with. Um, 30 is still more than the most like average person has. So I still have a lot of variety for my videos and stuff, but it's just so much more manageable. I now look at this and I'm inspired to like pick through and play with things. Whereas what I had before was just overwhelming. I couldn't even remember what I thought of a lot of them and I'm sure I've talked about them before and probably raved about things before but you know I can enjoy something and appreciate it. It doesn't always necessarily have to end up in my collection long term and I'm just wanting to reduce, reduce, reduce but that's what this whole decoloring process was about. It's kind of to shock me a bit and force me to really take note and it's prompted me as I say to reach out and kind of get myself off some of the PR lists just to reduce and that way if there's like a new line of lip glosses or something comes out I'm really interested in, I can actually go into store like we used to do back in the day and like swatch the colors and buy one color because <laughs> that's all I would be able to afford but it's like that's realistic you know there are so many youtubers out there doing the whole like swatches of every color in a, in a line I don't need to be that type of person I want to be your like everyday gal that can just tell you what I'm thinking about products that I'm trying realistically and um, I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too I know like I I see my audience demographic it's gradually getting older and older the older I get to like you guys have started watching me years ago and are like growing up with me and I think as you grow up you just tend to want less and less materialistic things I still love makeup I've still kept 30 lipstick it's still a lot but it's just good to clear stuff out and yeah just get ready for this new chapter of my life since I'm about a year and a half away from 30. So I've just finished eating lunch and now I'm going to tackle my wardrobe. So this is my wardrobe here. I'm still yet to go and get one of those cool extra shelf things or something to kind of fill that gap. But this is what we are working with. But what I want to do is go through and pick out some of the clothes in here that are just too lightweight for the weather at the moment. It is only really for like a month because I'm gonna be going to the UK on the 30th of June and it's gonna be summer there. Although summer in the UK is not quite like summer in Australia. It's probably more like late spring, which is nice and more comfortable. So a lot of these pieces I'm putting away, I'll probably pull out and pack. I'm not saying goodbye to them for too long, but they're just pieces that I have not worn since sort of early April. And it's very much time for a winter capsule changeover. I don't think there'll be like a huge change though, like going from summer to autumn like I did. I don't really have a declutter to do because I have not really bought clothes, <laughs> which is nice. It's a good change. Although I did actually yesterday just order some custom made orchestra pants online. I will show you them once they arrive. They should arrive in about two weeks time because they've got to be like actually made and then shipped. And I hope they're amazing. I really hope so because there's also a tuxedo jacket that I want to get, but I need to like wait and see if the pants are any good because they're a bit cheaper. If they work, I'm going to be so stoked because I'm going to have a pair of black pants that actually fits my waist actually fits my bum and thighs, actually fits my calves. That will be a miracle. I have a very small waist compared to my hips and bum and my black pants that I currently have just don't really fit that right anymore so I'm gonna wait for these new ones to come in and then I'll probably declutter my other black pants that I just got from Shopo. They they were fine, they're paper bag style waist so they're kind of like a better style of pant that has kind of gotten me through because you can kind of like tighten them up and stuff to fit but they're not the best. I think I really just have the body shape that needs custom made. I will show you guys those soon but yeah the good thing is I don't have to do too much decluttering I just have to basically pack away items like this item. This is my Zimmerman jumpsuit. It's a silk jumpsuit. I bought this a couple of years ago. I absolutely thrashed this. Every like late spring, summer, early autumn I'm wearing this. I can even lay like little t-shirts under it and stuff if it's not quite hot enough. Absolutely love this piece but yeah <laughs> not good for winter so this will be packed away. Probably needs a dry clean to be honest. Look what I'm wearing today. Track pants and a sweater. It's very much been a home day. So I might even pack up some stuff to take to the dry cleaners when I get back from Perth, because I won't have time to, before I go. Actually, speaking of Perth, I was looking up the weather. It should be really nice, but it should still definitely feel like autumn. It's not gonna be like hot like it was last time. What is it, 22 degrees there today, sunny, and it's pretty much low 20s the entire time. So like really nice, but it does get very cold. It still gets down to like low single digits. It's just that in the daytime it gets really warm. So I'll need to take lots of layers so I can always remove like my cardigan and have my arms out if it's warm. But I'm really excited because we have not had nice warm weather here. Like the hottest it will get up to is about 18 degrees at the moment in Melbourne. It's 
cooler and some days have been freezing. I'm very much looking forward to the Perth climate. It's a little bit more mild, but it certainly won't be hot like it was last time. I'm going to pack away these pants. These are my Portman's check pants. They're very much something I wear more in like autumn and spring. I didn't wear them that much this season because I've just been around home so much. I wear track pants and jeans and stuff, but they are really nice and they still fit well and I'll probably wear them a bit more in spring. I do love them, I just don't really have an opportunity to wear them. And then I've got this maxi dress from August as well. It's like a really pretty little sort of ditzy floral print. So cute. This is definitely very summery, so this needs to go away. These jeans, I am still actually gonna keep in my wardrobe because even though I probably don't wear them as much out and about too much, because they are kind of a more summery style of jean. They're my fitted boyfriend jeans from Just Jeans. I certainly wear these around the house a lot because they're so comfy, so stretchy. They're like track pants, but made of denim, stretchy denim. <laughs> so they're gonna stay in because they're kind of like a home wear piece, really. I have a couple of camisoles to pack away. I've got this little one from Shopo. It's a little too slinky for winter and it doesn't, because it's a cowl neck, it doesn't fit as nicely underneath sweaters, which is also why I'm gonna pack away this one. But I've still got a couple of like more plain um, fitted like silk camisoles that sit nicely under sweaters and stuff. So I don't need so many camisoles. I've got about three in there, which will do me fine. So I'll also put this one away. This is like a really nice like sort of linen, um, fitted camisole with these tortoiseshell buttons. This might be one I pull out for Perth, we'll see, but um, for now I don't think I need it in my actual winter capsule wardrobe though. I'm gonna pack away a couple of my t-shirts. I've got my Kukai t-shirt as well as these two little cropped t-shirts. I use these mainly for layering, but now if I'm gonna layer something underneath like my dresses or something, I'd use my long sleeved t-shirts and tops and things. I need long sleeves in winter. So now I'm just going to go through, pull out a couple of things from here that I've packed away. I don't actually think I have that much. I really don't have any clothes. <laughs> this sweater that I'm wearing here is a cashmere sweater from Max that I actually had under the bed and pulled out because it got so cold and I needed like something that was wool that I could wear underneath my jacket the other day and I just remembered I had this and I thought it's fine, I'll bring it out. So this has already been pulled in, but I also pull in this my beloved forever new gray cashmere sweater. Oh, it's been a while. I pretty much keep this exclusively for winter now. It's on it's like fourth or fifth year. Now I'm just going to put these pieces that I've pulled out of my wardrobe back in here. Down here I just keep like underwear, socks. I've got pajamas, workout clothes and stuff like that. But here I've got scarves and hats, gloves and stuff. As I say, this is my sweaters. I've got some more sweaters, <laughs> including this giant blanket cardigan, which I want to find a better way to store this because he's enormous. Then I have all my hanging up items. So I'm going to keep these dress jackets out because they're really nice if I'm like going out on a date or something. I might even take one to Perth. Definitely keeping this in there. <laughs> my favorite, my Yes Style Fur jacket. Actually, I think I'm going to put my leather jacket under the bed. It is just not warm enough to wear as an outer layer piece really at the moment it's sort of something I tend to wear more in summer actually is like just a little thing to throw on in the evenings when it's a bit cooler then I've got some more like long sleeve t-shirts and I mean this one is a knitted it is a knit it doesn't tend to get misshapen from the hangers which is good yeah a couple of long sleeve sort of t-shirts by Mercy sweater this long sleeve sweater from Seed which actually used to be the other way around and the white got kind of quite discolored so I actually turned it inside out, took all the tags and stuff off and now I wear it grey side out. Um, actually I'll put this one under the bed too because this is way too thin and, and cropped to wear in the winter. This is just like a little Supre cropped long sleeve t-shirt with a boat neck. It's actually really really cute but yeah too summery. That'll be nice to bring out in springtime. Keeping this Kukai long sleeve t-shirt out, it's really great for layering under dresses and stuff. I will keep this one white t-shirt out because I quite like layering this under sweaters or if it is an unseasonably warm day it's quite nice to wear. Keeping out my seed leopard print blouse as well as my Kukai little paisley print blouse as well. Couple of camisoles. I've got this green dress from Shopo which I actually didn't wear that much but I, I'm going to see if I wear it in winter and if I don't then I might end up decluttering it but I do really like it. I also have my cute woolen dress, which I didn't wear a lot in autumn, but I do tend to wear this more in winter. It's really warm. I am going to keep this Shopo dress in here, even though it's very summery. It looks super cute with a turtleneck layered underneath it and some boots 
and some stockings like it's actually really versatile for both winter and summer as well as this dress which is one of my favorite autumn winter dresses from forever 21 a couple of years ago my little black portland skirt i'll keep in there but it needs a debobble as you can see it's all pilling black jeans blue jeans boyfriend jeans which is a say kind of more for around the house these are my current black pants but I will probably swap them out for the new custom made ones when they arrive. And then I've just got a bunch of concert gear back there which kind of stays in here all the time. I also have my jackets and stuff hanging up here by the door. So I've got my little seed vest which I'll keep out for now. My rain jacket. This is my big fluffy, super puffy like sleeping bag coat. De definitely need this for winter. As well as my boiled wool coat. This is from Forever New but I changed the buttons over a while back and then that jacket on the end is Alex's. So these are my main kind of winter outerwear pieces that'll sit here because they're a bit too big to put in the wardrobe. So that is pretty much my changeover. I honestly don't think there's a lot that I need, really. I don't know if I'll add much to my winter capsule wardrobe, but if I can think of anything that I need, I might write a little list and maybe me and Alex will go shopping for those items while we're in Perth. That'd be nice to do together. I just went and picked up a parcel from my parcel locker. It had a recent Yes Style order in it and <laughs> I grabbed this suit it's so funny. I was hoping I could use this for kind of like lunchtime concerts and stuff. It's kind of like a cute little suit. <laughs> I actually really like the jacket. Uh, it's the pants because I don't have the right body type for something like this. I'm too sort of curvy through here. But I'm thinking that this jacket over top of like skinny black jeans or even my new orchestra pants which are going to arrive could look really cool. So I actually really like the blazer. I also have this really gorgeous dress from Chic. It's like a beautiful floral number. It's a little bit more sort of like a day dress. We're doing a garden party concert in London and something like that will be really good for that sort of occasion. I think in total over our trip we've got about five different lunchtime concerts to do so I don't always want to be wearing that dress so I just hoped to get a jacket or something that I could wear over like black pants. I'll show you what else I picked up as well. So I ordered these VDL products. I've had a couple of you actually ask specifically for me to try this. It's the VDL Lumi Layer Primer. This is actually a special limited edition bottle which is why it's all gold and pretty. And then I also grabbed their Perfecting Last Foundation. Sorry the lighting's so bad in here at night time. I believe that's in the shade double zero. Just so you know, Yesstyle did give me a gift card to pick these things out. I'm not being sponsored or anything but that's how I get a lot of the products I get from your, your style. Just wanted to let you know uh, but I ordered those to try out and I also grabbed this Innisfree color correcting primer. It's a purple lavender primer. I wanted to try this out as well and then I got a few things for my trip. This is actually for the trip to the UK but I could probably use some of this when I go to Perth which is exciting. I didn't expect it to arrive in time. This week guys actually a little travel jewelry case. Isn't it cute? So when I'm traveling I've got space for my rings. I can put like extra jewelry and you can like move this around or take it out. I just thought this was really cute. I don't really have a travel jewelry case. And I just love how small it is. Like, look at the size next to my hand. Especially in summer, I wear a lot of those big dangly earrings and I wanted something safe to keep them. And it's also good, like, in the hotel room, I can put my rings in here at night, like, so I know where to find them and stuff. It's really cute. I also got myself a new silk eye mask. They don't have many real silk ones on there, but this was one that I found. It's from the brand Beauty Artisan. It comes with a wee pouch, too. I also grabbed, they described it as a tech bag. So it's a really nice size to be able to put, like, my hard drive and cords and charging cables and everything in there because I like to have all my items in my suitcase really well organized into different categories and it's also padded as well which is why I thought it would be really handy because it will keep my um, hard drive really well protected and stuff when I'm traveling and then I also just picked up a couple of like cosmetic like travel bags they're both of these have hooks which is going to come in handy because me and Alex are going to be literally like living out of suitcases for two months basically and it's different to like going somewhere permanently for two months we're going to be like packing up our stuff every few days so I felt like having these sort of cosmetic bags with the wee hook at the top are kind of more handy because you can just literally like open it up hang it up in the bathroom somewhere and all your stuff's in it I just thought that that was probably going to be a little bit more practical than the kind of wash bags that I already have, which are better for like going on a trip, unpacking completely and staying put for two weeks. Like we're gonna be, especially around New Zealand, we're going to be like two nights max at each venue. So we're like in and out, in and out for like three whole weeks straight. I know that packing cubes are gonna be my absolute friend. <laughs> and I know that having all these little like dedicated bags and holders and stuff for my products are gonna be very important to staying organized on tour.